And we have quite excited that we actually got quite a few samples here that Sherrod is going to, uh, going to explain to us in due course. Now, just give us a quick background on your company, how long sure. it's been going, and, and, and when did the idea, when did the spark happen for, for, for this sure. range? Uh, we started uh, EcoTribe last year, and it was basically when we read in the newspaper that UAE has the highest carbon footprint in the world. We thought it is time for people living here to do something about it and make a difference. And what got us started was launching an eco portal called go-green.ae, and we launched this last year. We also were awarded by uh, Mazdar at the ADIPEC last year as the best green initiative. Uh, Emirates Environmental Group also gave us an award for what we are trying to do here. We were very successful in launching a Go Green Ambassadors program where people from anywhere in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, wherever, could register online. It's a volunteer uh, program, and if people have a few hours to spare in a week or a month, they could join us online, register, and then when principals of schools, colleges, universities wanted some Go Green ambassador to come and talk to the students, we had these people who were trained by us through the web. Uh, we give them valuable information on how they could go green at home, at work, etc. Armed with that knowledge, they went in turn, spoke to school students, and then there was a lot of mass awareness going on on the need to go green. So that was really the start of us getting into this domain. And we are so passionate about uh, going green and making a difference. Uh, we actually had a school teacher write to us saying, why don't you walk the talk and provide us the products that will enable us go green. So that's where the idea of EcoTribe was born. So it was, it was actually moving from awareness raising to actually, well, help us, help us actually achieve this. Absolutely. And then you started in, in, importing a That's range right. of products under the... And these are all now EcoTribe branded? Uh, not yet. Okay. Uh, that's something which is part of our future plans. Right now, we are importing the products as they are. Sure. But of course, we do branding for corporates and our clients. Sure. So most of the products on this table can be branded. Okay. Um, I don't want people to judge us by these four products that we no have. Problem. We have 250 products in our online store now. But, but these are fascinating. Let's start with this. This is kind of looks like sandpaper, but it is in fact uh, paper that you just described to me. This as is plantable full paper. Full of seeds. Full of seeds or flowers. And you can actually print anything on this paper. It could be VIP invitation cards. You could have a calendar. Business it's up cards to your even? Could business you cards. It's up to your imagination. Corporate brochures, yeah. And uh, the good thing about this paper is that when you are done, you don't have to throw it away. You simply have to put it in a pot, water it, and enjoy the flowers grow. It sounds uh, too good to be true, but trust me, a, it works. A genuinely recyclable uh, bit of paper for any documents. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now, this one I'm particularly, I'm particularly taken with. This is kind of the new generation of yes. re rechargeable battery. This is technology at its best. It's called a USB cell. It is basically a double A battery. You can open that green cap and you have a USB port. Mm -hmm. So you just plug it into your computer, charge it, and uh, then it's a battery fully charged, good for any camera or any remote control, etc. And that basically, as you said, you only need yeah. to buy one battery in your life. Or Rest two, of your life. Probably two if, uh, Maybe, for most yeah. controls. <laughs> basically, you charge it for a couple of hours and it works for about three to four months. Fantastic. And explain this, this great device to me here. Yeah, What's this? This, this is a revolutionary product called Solio. It's from the UK, and basically it's a solar charger which can charge any handheld device. So your Blackberry, iPhone, etc., in a couple of hours can be charged with this. So you're not using electricity anymore. You are uh, using solar energy. And just to give you an interesting fact, uh, the sun provides more energy to the earth in 24 hours than the cumulative annual requirement of six billion people on the planet. Wow. So when you think about it, we are not at all harnessing the power of the sun. And in the Middle East, it's the one natural resource. Absolutely. You know, after, you know everyone talks about the oil, but yes. the one biggest natural resource we have yes. is 300 plus days of sunshine a year. Yeah. And talking of solar technology, I have to show your viewers well, the Well, we back. have to show this. This, yes. is, this, is, this is incredible. I do uh, like this. So this is a winner. Basically, this is an executive briefcase which has very powerful solar cells and it's powerful enough to charge a laptop. And because it's so eco-friendly, the rest of the bag is made from Coke recycled bottles. So 100% eco-friendly, looks pretty snazzy. In fact, my son thinks it's, it's a 100% recy recycled material yes. and it will mean that you can charge your laptop at any time just yes. using the power of the sun. Absolutely. 
And Fantastic. the good thing is it's all available right here in Dubai. And it's all available here. Yeah. Now, one interesting thing you said about how you were able to um, develop this product line, you do an awful lot of local market testing. Yes. Could you tell us about that process of actually, because yeah. I think this is a lot of a, a great entrepreneurial story is, yes. it's not just about having a good product, it's making yes. sure that that product is wanted in Absolutely. the market you're selling. Uh, yeah, you might have read a lot about greenwashing. So because green is in, everybody tries to claim exactly. they have a green product or a green concept. So you have to be very careful there. And what we do is, uh, we've used the power of the internet to source products now from 60 countries worldwide largely from Canada, US, and all the way from down under Australia. Yep. So initially, uh, we do our research on the web, and then we import samples of products. We test market them uh, through road shows, through okay. the internet, through online surveys. You do crowdsourcing on the internet as well? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. And uh, once we've got the feedback from people on the ground, because you know some products may not necessarily work in the Middle East due to whatever, you know, demographics or cultural reasons. And uh, then we have to look if they fit the budget of the people that they have in mind. But uh, surprisingly, you know, we've got a terrific response from government. Mm -hmm. And a lot of uh, large government organizations are buying products like this with their branding. Yeah. And they're trying to spread the message and the importance of, you know, people to go green and save our planet. So you can actually sell these as corporate gifts as well to large organizations Absolutely, to yeah. give to their Yeah. To and give another to their example base. is this USB cell which comes with a twin pack with uh, the corporate branding on the case. So this nice. makes for an excellent corporate gift. In fact, I was told that Al Gore, whenever he's out on his uh, you know, speaker seminars, etc., he's always giving away these. Well, that's a decent, yeah. uh, yes. a decent testimony if Al Gore is giving, yes. giving a green-friendly product away. Yeah. What's your um, expansion plans? Uh, again, let's talk about the business yes. side. What, how are you looking to expand? What's your kind of yeah. uh, expected market? Are you looking sure. beyond the borders of the UAE? Yeah. Sure. Uh, we are doing it step by step. I've been an entrepreneur in Dubai for the last 14 years. So uh, one thing I've learned is uh, that you've got to grow, consolidate, grow, and not be in a rush. Uh, and that's exactly what we are doing here. Uh, we've started small, uh, we've got our online uh, shopping cart in place. The website is called thegreenecostore.com. On that, anybody from anywhere in the world can select the products that they like. We have over 250 products already. And what's good is about 10 to 12 new products are being added every week. Because innovation is very high in this field. We are still in the first curve of the, you know, the go green uh, industry and a lot of new products are coming in. So we are initially going to be targeting consumers through the website, the large corporates and government for wholesale business. And early next year, we'll be rolling out this model in other GCC countries and then to Levan. So uh, by next year, we should be in five, six countries uh, with a ground presence of distributors who can market and service the products that we have. Excellent. I mean, uh, you have to say that the green space is one that is ripe for, for entrepreneurial activity right now. Are you looking at other things like this? Are you looking at other uh, business opportunities in the environmental space that these have kind of led you towards? Yes, more inst more yeah. institutional products yes. or, or consultancies, that kind yes. of thing? In fact, we are moving forward from just products into services. So we are getting into carbon consulting. We are going to be providing carbon offsetting services here. We already have a project in the pipeline which is to install these machines uh, which look like ATMs at the airports. San Francisco has one, by the way. It's a pilot project working pretty well. So what happens is when passengers get down from the aircraft, they go into these uh, terminals and uh, they can calculate their carbon footprint depending where they flew from. Excellent. And then by using your credit card, you can buy carbon offsets there and then. So you don't have to feel guilty that you were, you know, causing all that. Flew, from, flew in yeah, from Dubai. Absolutely. So that's something we are working on. And then, of course, carbon consulting itself is something uh, that's required in uh, this part of the world. So that's uh, part of the future plans. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed for explaining Thank your you. wonderful product line. And